Tradition. 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 Wait a minute. This isn't Fiddler on the roof, it's Viddler on the roof. But here at Viddler's, it's still all about tradition. A bit south of Buffalo in the village of East Aurora, Viddler's was founded in 1930 by Robert Viddler. Today, the third generation of Viddler's is still minding the store. This historic retailer is one of the few surviving genuine five and tens, a type of general merchandise store that was once found in virtually every town across America. After 81 years, Viddler's 5 and 10 has expanded to 16,000 square feet and boasts a bulging inventory of over 75,000 different items that run the gamut from entirely practical to purely whimsical. And no barcode shenanigans here. All merchandise is individually priced and rung up by hand. And yes, some of it still costs 5 or 10 cents. Don Viddler, grandson of the founder, agreed to give me a tour. I thought I'd just show you some of the more recent items that are very popular. You've got bacon air freshener, you've got a bacon wallet, you got bacon uh, dental floss, bacon chapstick. I don't this know, that's just, that's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our classic wooden bamboo back scratcher. Ah. We go through buckets of these. Oh, very man. useful. Oh, that feels good. We've got the original metal kazoos made in Eden, New York yeah. by the original kazoo right. company. These are classic. Does that sound old timey? I thought so. 100% cotton, made in USA bandanas, all different colors. I wanted an iPad for Christmas, but I might just have to settle for this. This is one of our more popular offerings, has been for years, this is the, the coonskin cap. Where's my musket? We do have those back there too. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. This is our gnome section of the store. It can well, be very popular. Every store has to have a gnome section, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Just for the record, 10 cents. Eraser for the tip of your pencil. Okay, that's a five and ten item. Five and ten. And there's also five cents for a golf pencil. This is the redneck wine glass. All glass, mason jar but with a lovely stem on it. So I that's have to it. say, that is really that. neat. A new coffee table for my dollhouse. The candle room, just a wide variety, obviously, of candles, bath and body products, potions and lotions sure. and ointments and all that. This is our card room. There's greeting cards, there's gifts, there's some specialty products in here. Sealing wax. You light the wick and just drip it on the back of your envelope and sure. then use a stamp and put in your initial or there's different initials, different symbols and things. And you can't live without your horse wine bottle holder. If you want to go more upscale from the bamboo back scratcher, then we have the antler back scratcher. Ah. So that's a little more heavy duty. That might take someone out. <laughs> Our housewares is the part where we're known for having like every gadget you ever need and many that you didn't need. Cookie cutters especially. We've got a tremendous variety of cookie cutters. Buffalo cookie cutter, we have to have one of those. That's right. Spreaders, graters, spoons, melon ballers, toaster tong. Oh, I So I, wood, so you don't... I you're love always, the wood ones. You're not supposed to use a fork, Nelson, to electrocute right. yourself. So use right. a wood one to take the toast out. You put the pat of butter in here and then it's, see, it's nicely curved, aerodynamic to uh, go down wow. the, the cob of corn. People that want to you know, do their own wicker chairs and weaving, they have this. Our mechanical horse, Sandy, has been ridden by, uh, gosh, thousands, nay, millions of children over the I, years. I heard a story yeah. that the first person to ride on this horse was actually a young guy I right here. I'll, I'll give myself away, but this horse is over 50 years old, but yes, I was the first kid to ride it, and it's still a dime. This thing is 50 years old, did you know that? <laughs> Viddler's 5 and 10 is more than a nostalgic ode to a bygone era. It's a thriving enterprise with a bright future. Perfectly at home in the classic example of small town Main Street America that is East Aurora. I'm Nelson Starr. See you next time on Buffalo for Real TV.